Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons A flower gently sways in the breeze. A small bug is looking for food. It's a ladybug. Many ladybugs fly and move about looking for food. They eat aphids and other insects such as scales and mites that are harmful to plants. A ladybug is a beetle. The hard outside of an adult ladybug's body protects its soft insides. Like other insects, a ladybug's body has three main parts. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The ladybug has two sets of wings. Ladybugs can be many different colors and sizes. Some are as small as the head of a pin. Others can be as large as a child's fingernail. Most are some size in between. They live on six of the seven continents. Many scientists believe there are about 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs around the world. They also believe there are about 475 different types of ladybugs in North America. Ladybugs mate in spring and summer. A ladybug finds its mate by scent rather than sight. About one week after mating, the female lays her eggs. During the next week, the eggs turn from yellow to white. After a few days, the eggs are ready to hatch. The thin shells begin to split open. The ladybug larvae crawl out. They eat their eggshells and begin eating aphids. One larva can eat about 30 aphids a day. A larva eats so much that its outside covering becomes too tight. The outside covering splits and is shed. A new larger outside covering takes its place. This is called molting. The larva continues to eat and get larger. It may molt three more times before it is fully grown. After molting for the last time, the larva attaches itself to a safe place using a sticky liquid at the end of its abdomen. The ladybug larva is now called a pupa. Outside, the covering of the pupa is becoming hard. Inside, the ladybug pupa will continue to develop. It will not eat or move during this time. Now the ladybug pupa begins to split open its hard covering. Head first, the ladybug pulls its body out. The ladybug's body is pale and soft and has no dots. Its body slowly hardens. Its two delicate transparent inner wings, which will be used for flying, extend to dry. Then they slip back under the hard outer wings for protection. In about an hour, the ladybug is ready to live a ladybug's life. Dots begin to appear. Soon the adult ladybug opens its hard wings and unfolds its flying wings. The ladybug lifts itself up in the air. It will spend its life going from plant to plant, eating aphids and other insects. Danger! A ladybug has many enemies, including birds, frogs, and other insects. It has three major ways to defend itself. Its bright color is nature's warning to others that this insect may be poisonous or just taste bad. When a ladybug is attacked, its leg joints ooze a yellow fluid. It has a terrible smell that keeps enemies away. A ladybug will also pretend to be dead, and then the predator will lose interest. Ladybugs must protect themselves from cold winter weather. Thousands of bugs find a safe, warm place such as under a rock or nestled under leaves. Like other insects, ladybugs are cold-blooded. Their body temperatures are controlled by the air surrounding them. They become active again when the temperature rises to about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Gardeners and farmers always have been against insects that damage their plants and crops. 
but they appreciate ladybugs because they eat plant-damaging insects. In the late 1800s, many crops in California were attacked by destructive insects. Farmers were desperate. When lots of ladybugs were released into the fields, they ate the destructive insects. Within a year, crops were thriving again. When farms become larger, farmers begin to use poisonous pesticides to kill plant-eating insects. With time, some farmers realized that those pesticides could be bad for the crops because they damaged soil, polluted water, and were harmful to wildlife, including ladybugs. Today, agriculture experts are finding safer ways to protect crops, which include using ladybugs. Organic foods are grown without using chemicals. Many plants have ladybugs helping them to become insect-free and grow into delicious foods that we can eat. Ladybugs are beautiful to look at and interesting to watch, but they are also important insects that help the environment.